Hello, welcome everybody to this another lesson from, from business communication or from the technical writing. So today we will, we will definitely be dealing with introduction to technical writing or technical business writing. I'm Adnan Ayaz and let's see what we have today. First thing is a definition or the there is a question, what is technical writing? So the technical writing is communication in any field that primarily aims to convey a particular piece of information for a particular purpose to a particular reader or a group of readers. So that's how we define this technical writing. There is a piece of information, it is conveyed with a purpose to a group of people or one person. And that's what we call technical writing. Moving on to the purpose of technical writing. So what purposes are there? There's three as you see them on the list. Number one would be to inform, which is from the word information. And number two is instruct. And number three is to persuade. And it could be giving instruction. Uh, if we just try to say it another way, it will be giving information or giving instructions or to uh, persuade someone. Uh, like uh, there is a persuasion going on in this writing. So these are the three purposes. Moving on to the next slide. How does technical writing inform? So information needed to carry out functions, information needed to take decisions, information on physical description of a new machine. For example, what to do during an earthquake or how to use safety devices to avoid fire and burns. So these are the examples which, through which technical writing informs. Moving on to number two, and that is how does technical writing instruct? So giving directions on using an equipment or giving directions on performing duties. Moving on to number three, third purpose, which is how does technical writing persuade? So giving cogent reasons to follow a particular course of action. One writer, for example, persuades persuades readers to accept site A, site A, or not site B for a factory. Now, I hope you're getting the point. So there is a persuasion going on and, and could it work and it could vary from uh, topic to topic. Moving on to the next thing, technical writing scenarios. For example, there is a, uh, as a customer or as a computer information system like CIS, employee you work at a one to eight hundred hotline help help desk and a call a call comes from a concerned customer your job is to answer the client's query whatever the questions are whatever the complaints are you'll be addressing them and you're making sure that you are uh, completely able to satisfy his need and answer all his questions so that's how the technical writing scenarios work now moving on to the characteristics of technical writing so there could be uh, six i guess so let's have a look at one number one number one would be concrete language so use of concrete words then and abstract ones now there is a difference between the abstracts and concrete abstract will be to excel in college you will have to work harder uh, and the concrete one would be to excel in college, you'll need to go to every class, do all your readings before you go, write several drafts of each paper and review your notes for each class weekly. Number two would be denotative language, which is a dictionary, dictionary language. So that says utilization of the dictionary or lexical meaning of a word. Number three would be objectivity, which is an impartial, impersonal, unemotional weighing of evidence of information. And number four would be targeted or defined the audience. Defining the audience helps the writer know what to write, what to write and how to write it. Number five would be style of writing. Adopts a difficult style from literary you shouldn't be adopting a difficult style, you should adopt a different style from a literary writing, it must be economical, clear, concise, and concrete. Now, you it might be a little difficult for you to take in, but there could be more, there could be a variety of these things later on in the upcoming lessons. And number six would be common format. 
So adhere to the practice of using standard formats or layouts. I believe that's what we are going to do today. Thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.